Welcome to my video, my name is Echogen. I'll be going over the mechanics of Hachi, the first boss in Den of the Ancients. We'll go through his attack rotation. One thing to keep in mind is that you have to stay within 8 meters or closer to him, otherwise he will leap towards you and inflict Fracture. So the first attack here is a blockable half circle attack. The second attack is interchangeable between one of two attacks he will do. The attack you're seeing now is a unblockable linear attack, which aerials you if you're hit by it, or he'll do an AoE spin knockback attack. Third attack is a short range thrust attack. It can be blocked or avoided by sidestepping. Causes daze. Next is a unblockable linear front back to front attack. Causes knockdown. Attempts an aerial kick, make sure you block this. He'll follow up with the aerial combo if you do get hit by the kick, and it inflicts fracture. He's going to leap over your head and land with an unblockable slam AoE attack, and that will cause you to be stunned. Either iframe into it or dash out quickly. He's going to follow up with fast multiple jab attacks, they're all unblockable. The final hit will knock you back and inflict a fracture. So that's the end of his attack rotation. He's going to repeat that cycle. Now before I go further, I'll explain what fracture is as I've mentioned it several times. So certain moves from this boss inflicts fracture, which is the debuff that lasts for 10 seconds and causes damage over time, plus it decreases your movement speed. So there's a half circle attack. So remember that his second attack can be one of two attacks. So this time he's doing the AoE spin attack. The second hit, or the last hit from the spin, will cause knockback. Now it's phase, so mechanics happen at 70% and 30%. He jumps to the middle of the room. You can see this message here where it says Hatchie looks for a target's weakness. So he's going to cast a 270 degree pizza with a 90 degree safe zone being opposite to you. So you'll want to quickly move into that safe zone. If you fail to do so, he's going to pull you, knock you down, and place a stack of fracture. Next, he's going to cast a half room wide pizza attack. And that attack is directed towards the side his body is facing towards. So if you pay attention, you can see that he's facing towards uh, opposite to me, basically. So he's looking for a target's weakness again. So you want to get into that safe zone. Casting the half room wide pizza attack. He's going to attempt to cast a room wide knockdown attack. CC bar is opened up. This is where you want to CC him. Doesn't matter what CC you use. Now he's going to end the phase by causing a small radius AoE followed by a larger radius AoE. And now he's back to his regular attack pattern. So there's the half circle. AoE spin. attack. Front, back, front, kick, leap, jabs, and repeat. So there's the kick there. If you are hit by the kick, you get launched into the air, he falls up with a combo, and you get a stack of fracture. And you can see that stack right there. That's what that's what it looks like. Now, special attack. So he does this special attack after two full attack rotations. He's going to cast a half room wide pizza attack and then continue the normal attack cycle until phase. All right, so thirty percent. It's phase. He jumps to the middle of the room, he's going to look for target's weakness, gets the safe zone. Remember he's going to cast that half room wide pizza attack towards the direction his body is facing. 
Target's weakness again. And then another half room wide pizza attack. He's attempting to cast that room wide knockdown attack. You want to CC him. If you fail to CC, you get knocked down. He does a breath attack towards you. And then because of that, he's going to basically detect your target's weakness. So he gets stronger, he gains buffs. And then he's gonna do an additional attack right there with that fast, quick, linear attack. So this only happens if you fail to CC. And then he's gonna end the phase with a small radius AoE followed by the larger radius AoE. And that there is his mechanics. So that was 70% and 30%. So after that, all you have to do is burn him down. So his attack rotation after 30% changes just a bit. So he still does the half circle blockable attack. But then he's going to do a linear unblockable knockup attack. He's then going to cast a half room wide pizza attack. Front back to front attack. He's going to, to do the kick, the aerial kick, so you want to make sure you block that. Followed by a breath attack, make sure you move out of the way. And then he's going to leap over your head with the unblockable AoE slam. And then the fast multiple jabs. So that's his attack pattern, his new attack pattern after 30%. So there we go, that is the mechanics for Hachi, the first boss in Den of the Ancients. As always, I will include the summary of the mechanics in the video description below. And there you'll also find my social links. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.